Right, I've got an excellent new tool to show you today, which I got from Viva. It's the Viva 10 ton hydraulic knockout punch driver kit. The Viva SYK-8B. And I never knew these hydraulic um, punch drivers actually existed until I saw these on the Viva site. And when I saw what they could do, I just had to have one. So I ordered it from the Viva site and it came very quickly, well packaged in one of their Viva boxes. The actual kit is in this nice quality ABS type plastic case. And in the case you get the hydraulic pump unit already connected up. You get a step drill for drilling the um, pilot hole for the dies. And you get six different dies, ranging from half inch to two inch in diameter. So you have a half inch, a three quarter inch, a one inch, a one and a quarter inch, one and a half inch and a two inch die. Plus you have the user's manual. Also in the box you have two different draw bars. The uh, four largest ones um, take the largest uh, draw bar, like that, and that just screws into the driver like this. And then the two smaller dies have this draw bar. So it shows exactly what you get in the kit in the user's manual. And when I first opened the box I was pleasantly surprised at the nice quality and the good finish of the blackening anti-rust surface. And this is the two inch die, it's nicely marked up. And that's the um, cutter part. It looks really well made and nice and sharp. And it fits together perfectly. So they're all marked up, ready for use. That's the one and a half inch one. The one and a quarter. The one inch the three quarter inch and the half inch die. So now I'm going to clear the table and show you it out of the box and ready for use. So this is what it looks like out of the box. The pump is very good quality. You have the on off valve on the side here, a nice stand and on the back end you have a, another simple stand which you have to tighten up when you get it out of the box or put that plate on and tighten it up and that makes the pump stand nice and firm and it is very simple and easy to use I was really impressed with it when I first tested it and the ease of pumping to actually punch the hole through a metal plate. And in the past I used to use these carbide tipped hole saws for drilling um, large diameter holes like these. But these tend to uh, blunt turn and the carbide um, tips on the actual saw face here tend to fall off. Having one of these cuts out the need to actually use those hole saws which are very expensive. And these knockout punches are much safer to use than any hole saw. And these are dead easy to use and you can use minimal effort. The first thing you do is get the step drill and you drill a hole or as in this case on this test plate I've drilled two holes 
with an ordinary um, cordless drill. And that's for this drawbar to fit through. You simply screw the short threaded end into the piston assembly like that. And I'm going to use the largest die, the two inch one. The larger part of the die goes onto the piston assembly. This hasn't got a thread in this part here, so that just slips down over. You then put the plate on that you're going to punch the hole through and put the cutter on with the thread and screw that one down as far as it goes like that. You then shut the valve on the side here and with minimal effort you start to pump and it will draw that die cutter through that plate. And that's the hole done. Then you loosen the valve or open the valve on the side and you'll see the piston come back up. And then you can unscrew the cutter. And that's the disc that's cut out from the plate. And then if you wanted to use either of the smaller dies, these have a 10mm hole in them, you would need to use the 10mm diameter part of the step drill on the plate. So you have a 10mm hole which will go over this shaft. And the large drawbar comes out. You'd screw this one all the way home. Like that. Then you put the cup part on. Your plate, or your steel plate, or aluminium plate, or even um, plastic sheeting, these will cut. Put the die cutter on. Then the large spacer, or washer, and screw the knurled nut down to tighten it. And then you would pump the same and punch that hole. So like you've seen there, it's all dead easy to use. Very straightforward. You can also make up your own dies and cutters if you have a lathe or whatever. So the tool is very versatile. And it's a brilliant piece of kit. So now I've got some aluminium plate which is about three and a half millimeter thick so I just want to try the kit on this one. I'll use a one and a half inch die, put the cup on, the aluminium and then screw the die cutter onto that one nice and tight. And close the valve and pump away.
and it does an excellent job. Open the valve and take off the die. And when cutting plate like that, the die may get stuck a bit on the aluminium disc. So just hold it like that and hit this end here with a soft plastic mallet or a piece of wood. And that will separate the die. And you might need to knock it out from the die cutter or you can just take it off like this. And that's the disc. So I'm really pleased with this excellent quality piece of kit and I'll be using this a lot in the future I reckon. Plus I hope to make up some dies of my own for it. And I'll put a link below for this one and you can see how low cost it is and what a great bargain it is.